Sargonix here, and today I bring you another Dragon's Adventure video. So, I just reached level 41 on camera. Yay! <laughs> so, what I'm doing in this video is since a lot of people ask, what I'm going to be doing is going through all the maps, trying to find the best things to farm, what I think are the best things. This is just my opinion though. And then I also will go through the dragons you can get in each map or the egg but this this here is ralph this he, he ralph yes he will join us on our adventure to the first area we are going to which is the grassland because a lot of people ask me like what's the best thing to farm there since they're all mostly the people that ask are beginners so for me what i've learned from farming at the grasslands it does take a while but honestly for me the best like thing to farm there is like enemies like killing them but i suggest you try to like just farm on the safe islands first to get money for like a stronger dragon because a lot of you got to be careful because i know a lot of people have like weaker dragons so they also like will always say well my dragon died so i suggest like maybe first go farming up on like one of the small islands without enemies and then once you get like a better dragon then you can go do whatever and yes i got <laughs> yes i got a beginner's dragon just for this video so these colors not really liking them ralph my dude but this is ralph that's the starter dragon you can get and this is the other dragon you can get esper here is an elder while ralph is just a juvenile so for people who is probably like their first time seeing this video our first time seeing the dragons this is not what it's going to look like that is what it's going to look like just not with those colors it's whatever colors it has and then this is what the raptor it looks like fully grown because esper is an elder beautiful child esper was my first lava eyed child now i shall take esper ralph you just grow up over here all alone <laughs> goodbye so me and esper shall take you to the floating islands first so these mainly usually don't have enemies like this one is like just one of the few that actually have enemies on them and if you go and like look at my video about coins and stuff in this you'll see like i'll probably have shown like all the little tunnels you can go to but i don't think i'm gonna show that just for the video's time sake but there are these just little tiny little individual places where you can just sit here and farm and it's honestly super easy just to sit here you can pull up a youtube video if, well actually you know what if you don't have two screens but <laughs> if you don't have two screens then ow but you know if there's like a tv in your room or your phone close by you can like watch youtube or something like prop it on your desk or something or if the tv is like in front of you then like you can watch tv i have a tv in front of me so i could just do that as well that's just like a fun kind of like not so boring way of farming but yeah so this is just like a suggestion for those who have weaker dragons like the raptor and the starter one because a lot of people i see in the chat said like oh no my dragon died and i was like well you gotta be careful when fighting these dudes but then you can also just attack these guys see Esper is not very strong on attacking because usually I can have like the Hydra or something just kill them in like two shots But this takes a lot longer and you have to be a lot more careful that they don't bite you because the health level The health is very important because if you got like that low health well <laughs> Tough luck on you because they bite they do bite. I don't know why Esper's health is low I don't even remember taking Esper out at any time. There you go Esper. Okay Okay, so that's that for this map. That is honestly what I think you should do to help you in this map because first, you just come here with your star dragon, farm on the skylands. You can't get a revive crystal unless you fly up there. And if your dragons are all dead, then there's no way of getting up there. So that's that's my main suggestion there. Fly up there, use the skylands first, collect a few things, make sure you keep revive crystals. You can sell a few, but I suggest having at least like 20 because that's what I do. Like I'll sell a lot but i'll still make sure i have like 20 to 10 in case i like end up killing my dragon somehow ralph how did you not grow up in that time oh you're about to okay ralph let's see you before we leave on to the next map let me put esper away 
Goodbye, Esper. Thank you for being in the video. Esper is now the oldest here in this because old lady was, but we all know she's gone now. <laughs> so it's Esper then Void. Although Void is in front, but you know, these guys are in front as well. But Esper is the oldest here. Ralph. Okay, so here's Ralph. Ta-da. So for those who don't know, because I'm just saying this for the people that just don't know, you cannot read the juvenile dragons. Those are literally like a little baby kind of version of them but as soon as they get to adult you're good and a lot of people like will say well my dragon isn't growing up always make sure that like the dragon's like food bar is like above 50 because if it goes lower than 50 i don't believe that it grows up anymore because like it's like out of food i guess like below 50 is i guess it kind of starving this place scares me i don't really <laughs> i don't really suggest being here unless you really like just pvp places but I always die here and I'm just trying to farm but one of the main things to farm here are peaches because I was told that by somebody in the comments so thank you I'm gonna go over here and hope these people don't come over and kill me while I'm trying to do this but the dragons you can get from here is the wyvern and the drake the drake I'm pretty sure that's what it is I, I always feel like I'm gonna say it wrong but here's the wyvern and the drake together this is my boy void and this is my girly Xena Xena <laughs> they chill. I think he's lava and she is grass. Okay, yeah. Oh, sweet. Anyways, yeah. I really like the wyvern. The wyvern was my favorite. I would constantly breed for the wyvern, but now, now I only have one. And I don't really suggest being like the drake here, especially because like not many places to farm are on the ground. So that's one thing you gotta kind of like be careful for because not many things are on the ground. Most of the farming areas are like up high on these hills and stuff. So if you want to come here, try to get the wyvern or just use the raptor, but be very careful that nobody kills it because some people will leave you be some people will be nice and then other people will just be like well now you're about to die and you're just like well dang <laughs> and look at that i found an egg although i don't need it but yeah see here's key evidence that there actually are eggs here because I didn't believe that at first. I was like, no way there's eggs here. <laughs> no way. But here's an eggy. I'm not gonna take it. Someone else can have it. Because there's no point in me to take something that I don't need. I've done that before and I felt so bad about it. Because there's like another person who asked, do you want the egg? And I was like, yeah, I want the egg. And I realized I just ended up deleting that dragon afterwards. Because I didn't like it. And I was like, well, I could have just gave it to that person, you know? So I felt bad. So now I'm just leaving the eggs where to get peaches so i believe that you can literally just find them stop chasing me i see you following me this is not that ah uh, you're not sneaky leave me alone <laughs> i just want to go farm somewhere but it's difficult when you're following me around okay so i think just like at bushes like these which you're gonna have to kind of farm like you do in tundra or if you don't have tundra then you don't know <laughs> but like there's like little monsters and you'll just have to like run around and let them chase you but they don't do anything if you just keep running because they're pretty slow but as you can see i'm getting peaches but someone told me that peaches actually sell for a lot so for people with jungle that's something i suggest and there's also a place like little caves let me go to them really quickly hold on stop chasing me little hippo thing <laughs> i need to leave you so where is it so there's like little tunnels hidden everywhere let me just get void back out we're gonna use the dragons that are for the places do do onwards okay so like down around here you gotta like kind of look out for them because a lot of them are very hidden and then there are like little holes but they don't have like anywhere for you to like really farm from it's just like a little hole to go through to get to the other side like this so it's, it's a little odd and a little weird and trying to find like a place to go i also get lost so <laughs> don't feel bad if you're playing and you just get lost it's a very common thing <laughs> very common 
Oh my goodness, where is it? Okay. Oh, here. Let me go down here. I bet this is like an area. Yes. Okay, so in this place right here, I'm probably gonna end up dying. Let me just put you away. So there's like little crystals. I don't know if it's gonna pop up. Yeah, right here. These things, I don't know if they really give you anything special. I think it's just a bunch of like coal and stone. Yeah, you get coal and stone from these. I think you just get stone from like places like these. I don't believe you get anything else really special, but just for the people that want coal and stuff, this is a place for you to farm. I think you can also get coal in the grasslands though, and you won't have such a vicious monster chasing after you. Actually, come here, kill me. I need to get back to the spawn place. Yes, thank you. <laughs> okay, onwards to the next place. Tundra, my favorite. <laughs> Tundra is such, like, my favorite place. Such an amazing place. And my health is, like, down low. <laughs> and I love the dragons that come from this area. Like, honestly. The Hydra, like, I love it, but I never get good colors. Like, with Logan, if we take Logan, for example, I changed his colors twice. Twice. <laughs> and I'm still not really happy with them. I mean, yeah, I said I said I was happy, but am I really? So let's come over here to show you the dragons since there's three of them. So this is Logan, my Hydra. Your colors look different, my dude. I don't know if it's only because we're here. Probably is. So this is the Hydra. They have 20,000 health. See, that's like if you get an egg and you get a child and so you're just like really want to know right away what it is. You can just like open it up and look at the baby and see like the health bar on it because the moth has 4,000 this dude has 20,000 and then I think the owl has 10,000 no 5,000 so yeah so you have 5,000 4,000 the hydra has 20,000 but all the dragons from this are amazing like <laughs> I love them so much and Coco has to be my new favorite like this yellow oh it's so cute I don't understand <laughs> It's so amazing. I just love it. Okay, so we'll just take Coco with us today. Um, goodbye, Alpha Eagle. Thank you for being in the video. Onwards. There we go. So, as you all know, <laughs> my favorite place to farm is on the ground. So, if you have a drake, you should be able to get to areas like them. There's also, like, little higher up areas with them. But they're always, they are always, I'm pretty sure always, guarded with monsters. Because I have never found it where it wasn't guarded with monsters but these little green looking bushes that pop up like that one over there is what gives you pears and also gives you golden pears which the golden pears are like uncommon but i still have gotten a lot just from just chilling here and constantly like farming for pears and i just get a random like golden pear out of farming here for anywhere else to farm here there are little secret tunnels as well in here but you have to really like look out for those because i could not show you one off the back of my head because i do not know <laughs> like they have like you had to look where there's like a big wall of ice and where there probably would be like a hole so yeah i know there was like one over here and it's like along this big like ice wall you'll have to like fly around it but i think you can like when you go into the tunnel you can get like an ice crystal i'm pretty sure you get ice crystals from that yeah i got an ice crystal from that that's how i got my camera campfires so for people who probably want to make campfires like the ones i have the blue ones the ice crystals are in the small caves i do not know exactly where so i cannot show <laughs> but yeah if you guys want to take a look around the tundra i i promise you it's there i have found multiple holes there where there's just like a little hidden cave usually it's guarded by a monster i, I have found one without a monster before so you know it's you can find one without a monster if the monster really bothers you it's just gonna probably take a little longer but next map we are on to the volcano map da -da -da. so this one is the one that i barely got to show off but this is also the one i really don't know that much about like what to farm from here because i don't farm from here but the possible dragons from here is the cobra and the titan get out here frankie so frankie oh right you're still a juvenile i haven't even like tried to grow you up yet but i'm pretty sure apple is apple is not an elder apple is an adult yeah apple's an adult and you're still a juvenile because i cannot ride you so here they are everything's a little dark so the colors are a little harder to see their difference is apples the cobra has 10,000 more hp than the titan does 
that's so cute. It's like you have like Frankie just cuddled up with you. <laughs> okay, so who I'm taking with me is neither of you because you can't fly and you can't fly either. <laughs> so we're just gonna take Esper with us because he has the lava eyesight, you know? So these are little areas that are mainly on the ground. I have no idea why the monsters are glitching and you can get onions apparently. Look at this. Oh no, Esper! Esper, no! No! Don't hurt Esper. I'm sorry, I screamed. <laughs> Poor Esper, though. So, I would assume you can actually get a pretty good amount of money for onions. So, I actually believe onions would be pretty good to farm. I don't know yet. I'll probably have to try this out. I'll, I'll have to get back to you guys on that one. <laughs> but I also know there's another... So, there are also caves here. There's like... Uh, yeah, there's caves in like every map. There's not really caves in, like, the ocean. There's just, like, it's kind of like a little, like, roundish mountain sticking out of the ground with a bunch of holes in it that you can go in and farm in there, which we will get to. We will get to that. So you guys will get to see that. But there are, like, secret little holes along the walls of the volcanoes. Very hard to see, but I also promise you that they're there because I have checked it before. Is that an egg? It is. Okay, so my eyesight isn't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, watch should not be an egg. I'm just finding eggs today, but I don't even need them. I'll probably just get eggs, so to try and get better colors of dragons. But my luck, I just get a bunch of green ones. So, I don't know where the holes are. Like, this is so difficult to find them. Maybe it's not even on this mountain. But then, you also have these places up here. I, I thought you could get something special from up here, but I, now I'm thinking about it, I don't really believe. So, I think it's just like revive crystals, just like in the tundra, because I didn't go up to the um places there because i've already done that in a video and i think i farmed up there as well so there's really no point showing it again but i don't even think i've been up here in a video before but yeah see like you can get like crystals like this as well and they're just revive crystals just like the other crystals they just look different because of the lighting and how everything's red but yeah that's what you can farm here i hope this this is helping somewhat. <laughs> so I'm gonna actually have to check how much you can sell the onions for and see if you would rather farm there than wherever else I was saying. Because usually I just farm at the tundra, but if the onions actually give you a lot of money, then I should probably chill here. And then onwards to the ocean, which will be our last stop. So one place I know about the ocean that I have not actually tried selling for to see if it gives you good money, but I know that it actually like is really good are the glowing mushrooms there. So like they show glowing mushrooms, but you either get like actual normal mushrooms or the glowing mushrooms. So it's like kind of, I think like a, it's a weird chance of getting which one. Cause I can't really say off the top of my head if it's like 75 to 25 or 50, 50. Okay. And then the dragons you can get here. You can get the shark, which here's pumpkin and here's jellyfish. Let's just present both of them since they're both adorable babies. And then you can also get okay. Hold up. Where is it at? <laughs> okay, there we go Zayana Or you could get the sea turtle. I personally like the sea turtle a lot more That's just my opinion though. So if you like the shark one go for it I like its sharp teeth. It's really cute But I really like the sea turtles tongue and how weird it looks when its mouth is just not there <laughs> So we're gonna take, um, Zyanna with us to that place, like, up there. Down on the ground, I don't really believe you can get anything, like, but fish from there. I always feel so slow just here, but, you know, farming on the ground here, I think you can only get fish. So if you want to look for the mushroom places, and there's just more revive crystals here. Like, on the floating islands, there's always probably revive crystals. But up here on these, like, what I, I call them jellyfish-looking things, because they just remind me of jellyfish. They, all of them have, like like mushrooms i don't have them like down there they have them on the very top for those people who do not know they are usually guarded by a monster i don't know if all the time they are because usually when i'm here they are but other times they're just not you can also get revive crystals from this but you mostly i'm pretty sure get mushrooms unless they're like pears and they're like a pretty low chance of getting I, i'm not getting no mushrooms why are you lying to me <laughs> everybody okay there you go two mushrooms one mushroom. Yeah, 
three stone. Try not to die and read this at the same time. One mushroom, revive crystal. See, this stuff, I don't know if it's really that good for farming because I don't usually sell mushrooms. So, <laughs> so that's just like for people that really want to know. I, I honestly couldn't tell you because like usually most of the stuff is based off of what I think and how I think like whatever I think's faster is what I'm telling you guys but you know there's probably a much quicker way of getting food and money and oh my goodness Zyan I'm sorry <laughs> poor Zyan I just got pushed into the ground like that but that that was all the dragons pretty sure I feel like I was like missing one but you know maybe I was <laughs> no it looks like I went through all of them I just didn't take out all my dragons I just showed the main ones but yeah, I hope this did help for those who are starting and those who are wanting to get a, like, a map. Because I know a lot of people like ask me, should I like get this map or this map first? And I'm like, well, I mean, it's really up to you because like, if you want that map, then go for it, you know? Like, I just have every map for no reason. <laughs> but anyways, I really do hope this was helpful for you guys and for you guys to see what the dragons look like so you guys could see probably what you really want you know and just a reminder of the health that is one way to tell the dragon you can also just look on the wiki page they have which is dragon adventures wiki it tells you a lot about the dragons and about like their health and what dragon you can get in what egg and what egg costs them how much and how long you have to wait for that egg but anyways thank you guys for joining this video that's gonna be it for this video <laughs> If you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, be part of Live Squad. I'll see you guys in the next video. I said video so many times. Bye bye.